Good morning. Today might be an active day. Uh, I am at the Organized Chaos Shop uh, again today. Uh, today, most years, uh, we participate at Organized Chaos, something called Epic Jobs. Now, this year, of course, that event can't happen because it's a large-scale event where, like, 1,000 students or 2,000, I forget, students come. Um, and that's not going to happen. So this year, instead, they're doing interviews. And so I'm about to get interviewed, but I forgot, well, I don't know where my second tripod is, so I just duct taped this uh, phone to my screen, or to my tripod, um, because one phone's gonna have to be doing Zoom and the other phone's gonna have to be recording. Whenever you're ready. Hi, I'm Sean Stewart, director and founder of Organized Chaos. There we go. Perfect, that was really good. <laughs> All right. Um, so can you tell us what Organized Chaos is and what you do and why do you exist? To Next stop, I'm here at Bobcat in Brantford, and they just became a, a DeWalt dealer uh, and soon to become a Milwaukee dealer. And to kick things off, they uh, sent a donation our way. So we just picked up a bunch of DeWalt tools from them along with uh, some other donations from them. And so if you're looking for some DeWalt tools, Milwaukee tools, or a Bobcat, come to uh, Brantford. I'm back in my office at the moment. Uh, I'm uploading some stuff from that interview I was just doing in order to send that over to Adam, who's the guy in charge of uh, the video for Epic Jobs. And so he's dealing with that now. I'm just uploading. Next, I'm heading into Cambridge and uh, Brantford, dropping off a few gifts to people that are special to organize chaos, some handmade stuff. And then I'll be hitting the shop to prepare some more things, more gifts actually, um, that I'll be working on for people. Today has been getting messed around on me a little bit. We're just before noon now. I think it's still before noon. I'm back at the shop again, as you can see. Uh, those videos took a long time to upload. I, hit, I ate an early lunch to get things going. But the boxes, or the, the things I'm giving away as gifts, uh, I forgot I need to wood burn the Organized Chaos logo into before I give them away, of course. Um, and so now I'm back here again. I should have done it earlier when I was here, but didn't think of it. Once again, my plan has been changed. Uh, I apparently don't have my electric uh, wood brand here. And I have, I have my uh, ones I heat up with a torch here, but I don't have a lighter to start my torch or a sparker. And so let's see what trouble we can get into now. one more uh, box to build but before I do I am going to open up all that stuff from uh, Bobcat because there's a clamp in there I want to try out for this box that we're uh, for the next one I, I should have thought of it before I started this box but we'll do it on the next one first off a much requested pulsa or Japanese back saw We actually already have uh, a Japanese pole saw, uh, but ours doesn't have a replaceable blade and is all worn out now. So this one's got a good handle with a replaceable blade. Let's see what we get next. Oh, these are one of the clamps I was talking about. Um, so let me open it up. Okay, so then yeah. You clamp that strap so it can't turn anymore and then you turn the handle in and it tightens it in and keeps everything straight at the same time it's clamping everything real hard. I think I have another one just like it. Let's see. Yes. Just like it. So I'll be able to throw two of them on there. Boom. What's next on our list? 
Oh, another uh, another pole saw, but a miniature one. Again, with a replaceable blade. Let me show you. So, see how we got those pieces there? Let's say one of them was sticking out a little bit. This type of saw can go along and cut it off uh, completely flush without scratching the wood. And what's next on our list? Oh, punch set. I've been needing one of these punch sets. It'll, uh, like the students at the shop, sometimes nails don't go all the way in or they go don't go straight. What's next? It looks a little bigger. It is bigger. That went everywhere. This here is They got it trapped. This here is an air sander. We're moving to having a lot more air tools in the organized chaos shop. I think this is a security tag they got trapped on here. I'm trying to get off. I think I'm gonna have to break it off. Yeah, I think that's a security tag. We're not done yet. We have one more item I'm excited about. Right here. We got ourselves a new air nailer for the shop. Here. Students are getting into using air nailers more and more as time goes on here. Um, as the students get more experienced. We didn't start off with having them here and which was a good idea. And but as the students get more experienced and as our mentors get more used to teaching, we're bringing in air nailers. Uh, obviously with caution. There we have it. I've been doing a lot of unboxing re uh, recently. We really don't very often get that many new things here, but we're pretty excited about what we have been getting. Uh, big thanks again to Bobcat of Brantford. doing phone calls right now which you don't normally get to be part of but today I have two cameras because of that interview this morning and so you're not gonna actually be part of the phone call but hello uh, Brian's in and I didn't get a hold of Andrew or Greg but I can text them I don't know if this is gonna work but I figure I'll try it that worked I like it to be like a box and I didn't know what style of box it was going to be when I started um, but it I decided I wanted it to be like a box that you could put on your desk and so put pencils and stuff in and so that's why it ended up getting uh, a whole lot smaller I ended up uh, cutting well cutting about that much off of each one so that was I almost cut it in half so I did a lot of work early on building this that I didn't really need to do and making it that big but the idea is now that I got this box this will be the lid 
Uh, these pieces that I ripped down, I wanted it a thin top and bottom, and there'll be a round over on each of them. Um, and so lid, and we'll figure it out from there. I'm gonna have to get, either have the lid be a one that comes straight on and off, or a hinge lid, haven't decided yet. But I've never built anything really like this before. And so this is new to me. Uh, so I've made a few mistakes along the way, but it's, I'm, I'm happy with how they're turning out. My, uh, my joints are all real tight. So I'm pretty happy with that. And yeah, well, there's a few that aren't quite so tight, but it's good.